Hi there and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be building a functional high school for my Sims 2 custom neighborhood. I want this to end up being a community lot where teens in the neighborhood show up and participate in various clubs, do summer school or even detention and make friends with each other. There are quite a few Sims 2 mods that you can use to run a functional school, have active classes that are taught by teachers and all that stuff. It requires quite a bit of micromanaging from what I've seen of it, and I'm someone who quickly gets lazy and bored of that, I think. So my idea is to make a school that functions basically as hobby clubs for teens. This build took me a super long time. I put a lot of detail into the different areas. When I dumped all the footage in Premiere to edit it, it was 18 hours long. So I split the speed build into two shorter videos. We'll build some rooms and clubs this time and then finish up the rest of the school in the next video. To set up my high school, there was a Sim already living in my town who was a high school teacher as her job. So I bumped her up to principal and made her purchase this building. And now it is an owned community lot. She hired someone to be the janitor too, so hopefully it will stay decently clean in here. I'm going to use the visitor controller so that only teens can come here and then I think the lot should hopefully basically function how I want. As we continue through the video decorating the different rooms, I'll let you know if there's other mods or objects that I plan on using. So I wanted the school to feel a bit vintage, an older building with lots of wood and brick so that it feels like it's been here a long time and matches with the rest of my town's vibe. I looked up one image of an older school and it had these symmetrical chimneys sticking up and doors on either side of the school like this. So that's the exterior that I loosely based the school off of. And I even remembered to put the Cricut Lush Terrain Road overlays on right at the beginning, which has like never happened to me before. I'm repeating the cutouts from the front of the building at the back as well. And then I'm just doing some terrain painting to add lots of tan bark and patchy grass. I don't want it to look too nice, you know, it's an old high school after all, but I guess at least in the front here we could give them a nicer fence than this chain link one. I kept the landscaping pretty simple, just bushes, grass, and some small flower patches. The first room in the front here is going to be the cafeteria, so and putting lots of tables and chairs for people to sit at, although I'm sure I'm never going to have that many sims on this lot. Off to the side here, I'm making a small little kitchen with an open half wall on one side and a counter in front, like where you would slide your tray down in a cafeteria. Um, I made this kitchen for them to use just in case, but I actually ended up finding this really great menu board mod that visiting sims um, can autonomously buy food from and the food appears on the nearest counter. So now Sims at the school can buy pizza slices or sandwiches and stuff from the menu board next to the kitchen counters just like I envisioned, which I'm really happy about. Um, and I'll be sure to link that in the description along with the other mods I mentioned. I decorated with lots of posters that looked like they could be for various school clubs or events and made a little area over here where they can make coffee and hot chocolate. I put this little table and chair here because it reminded me of the movie Election with Reese Witherspoon, which is such a good movie. Um, so this is where someone might sit who's raising money for a club or even running for student body president, I suppose. And now I'm just making space for locker rooms over here as well as stairs to the second floor. I'm just adding lots of fluorescent lights. I recently switched to the Cinema Secrets lighting mod and it's really beautiful, but the light intensity is very different than the Maxis Match lighting mod I was using previously, so I'm still getting used to it. Over here, some sports memorabilia, and of course we need lots of lockers. And then here's maybe a little exhibit of some student artworks and I added the little museum labels I made for my museum speed build to them for that finishing touch. 
Then this room here is going to be the library. I want a private gated off librarian desk with a computer on it. So that's what I'm attempting to create over here. I ended up using Honeywell's counter desks for many of the desks in the school because I just liked the aesthetic of the counters. By using the counter desk and a bar stool, Sims can use computers at a counter, which is really fun for adding details like using a laptop in the kitchen on an island counter and things like that. So it's definitely a really fun set to have in your game. And then I'm just cluttering up this area with lots of books as well as displays for maybe books that have just come in. I made the display book this romance novel. Maybe it's a new YA book, perfect for the high school library. I smushed these counters together on this side to try to make the desk look L-shaped, but I'm going to end up swapping it out later on. And I just repeated the same counter desk setup over on this other side of the library to make a computer area for students. Then we're just making some bookshelves in rows over here so there's plenty of space to browse and read. I added some posters that fit the library vibe to me and also some armchairs in between these shelves for a cozy spot to read. And then here's just a simple table and chair setup so students could study or do homework together quietly. This tiny room here is gonna be the nurse's office. I don't really have any function for this room, it's more just for the vibe, but I guess it has a recliner so if someone gets too tired or doesn't feel well, they could come lay down in here. I repeated the counter desk thing because I wanted a counter next to the desk with a sink. They don't match perfectly because one is an island, but it's okay. And the chair hopefully won't stick out through the wall when people are using it too. That remains to be seen. I ended up putting this leaning lady on red painting here to try to cover up the fact that only the left counter has a backsplash because that's the kind of thing that will make me crazy. <laughs> then these are something I downloaded pretty recently I'm so excited about. They are Must Love Cats wall niches from Mod The Sims and they let you make these cute little cutouts into the wall with shelves that fit into the cutout that are the perfect spot for tiny little clutter items. They're so great for kitchens and bathrooms especially, and I thought it would look nice to have a couple different medicine bottles and things here. But other than that, I kept it pretty simple in here since it's basically just for decoration, I think, as of now. Over in this corner, I made a little phone booth area. I used Lee Fish and Huge Lunatic's gearhead window add-on door and windows to make it look like an actual glass phone booth. And so people can have some privacy if they need to make a call. Something that inspired me for this build were other games like the Persona series or Bully or the Nancy Drew games and other adventure games like that that I was really into growing up. Games where if you want to talk to a person to get info from them or make friends with them, you go to their specific location that they're always in just like perpetually doing their thing. Um, I kind of like that vibe of having different characters associated with each club that my Sims could talk to or bond with by going to these different clubs. Um, I'm not gonna be hardcore about it and prevent them from interacting with the club teens otherwise, especially because Lord knows it's better to treat your sims with flexibility since they don't want to do what you say anyway. But I thought it would give the school a fun vibe to add that classic adventure game sort of element. Or there was that indie movie Brick from 2006 maybe? I was really into when I was younger. It's like a neo-noir set in a high school and I was always very enamored at the idea of having a mysterious meeting with the theater kid behind the stage to get info for the crime you're solving and stuff. So it was really fun to build the school with all these different sources of inspiration and kind of try to mush together these different vibes. We are upstairs now building the chemistry lab room. I did another Franken counter situation here with these counter desks because I wanted to emulate the big lab table desks with sinks that we used to have in high school chemistry class. I put a couple deco microscopes around and some different little storage jars, but not too much clutter for now. 
I had told myself no downloading more custom content, but I quit and I downloaded these metal stacks, bookcases and filing cabinets and some chalkboards and school stuff that's all by Shastakis. They added a bit more institutional flair, so I really love that. Just trying to find the perfect OMSP and it's number six, because I feel like it always is. I got these benches to put in the changing rooms. And then these are really cool. I downloaded these functional microscopes and this chemistry lab clutter by Nanashi. The microscopes build logic skill. So I'm gonna put them at these desks here and Sims can build logic as well as the science hobby, I believe. So this room can be a little science club. Now we can save and move on to the room next door. So this room is going to be the only classic style classroom I'm going to make since I don't want the school to be too huge and I don't intend to have actual classes with live teaching and stuff, but we needed to have at least one classroom in here and we can pretend there are many more throughout this building that we just can't perceive here in the human world. Something I'm going to put in this room as well is the homework table and workbook from Inga at SimLogical. And then basically if teens are failing out of school or if they're fighting on campus and stuff, I can have them do detention in here. You can click the homework workbook and create an assignment for a specific student and then they sit at the desk and work and it raises their grades. So I thought that would be a great way to incorporate some homework and class elements without having to micromanage too much. And I could also punish rowdy fighting sims by making them do homework in here. So now we're over in this detached school building and this is where the gymnasium is going to be. I'm just making these lazy pseudo bleachers. They're never going to sit there anyway, so I'm not putting too much effort into them. I'm going to have a basketball court down here and then there will be an upstairs with some weightlifting equipment and punching bags for people to use. Generally, I think these stone Maxis windows look kind of silly when you use them on a first floor with no foundation, but on a little square random building like this, I think they look pretty cute. It helps give the building this little cute squat vibe that I think turned out pretty charming, so I'm happy with it. Just making a little stairwell to the upstairs and then random sinks on either side just because, I don't know, random sinks feels like an old building vibe to me. Upstairs here, I'm going to have a small bathroom and then not sure yet what I'll put in this room on the left, maybe like an AV or a radio club that we'll build in the next video. I decided to put a ballet bar and a big mirror here to have a small dance area and then some jerseys and trophies to celebrate former athletic achievements, of course. Upstairs here on the roof, I used the stage tool to make a fake sort of industrial looking who knows what. <laughs> it's a technique I learned from Zarathustra's amazing builds on Mod The Sims. And I guess someone bounced a basketball all the way up here and lost it long ago. Just making a simple pathway around the back of the school that connects the locker rooms to the gym and adding some weeds and dry grass. Then I did a little more terrain painting because I like to have dirt at the sides of buildings so it doesn't look like beautiful lush grass grows under them and they look more rooted in the environment. And with that, we are almost done for this video. Here's a little preview of what we accomplished so far. Next time we will build a cute greenhouse for a gardening club, a school theater, a journalism room, and more. So I hope that you'll join me then. Please like or leave a comment if you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you soon.